today uh, we will discuss about some specification means how the input and output function in ag drive okay so uh, how many are the mode or the level of the input output in ag drive uh, first we have the automatic input output and second is the control input output third is the database input output what is the automatic input output automatic input output actually provide the automatic sequential reading of a file okay and it generate the one or more report okay like we have some statement which support this automatic input output level like first statement is the job which will specify the input file means which input file we have to read and print print will specify the report to be written okay and display display specify the like uh, what we have to print in this pool for example we have one program here okay in this program like you can see we are using the egt utility and we have the pay pay input file and the output one report so pay file contain the employee id from like first position of five character in alphabetic format and pay gross it start from the seventh position of five byte in the numeric format okay and then we have given which report we have to write so we have to define the file also here with the printer and next one most important for the automatic input output whenever you will give input file name with the job input statement job statement you can say job input pay file so it means it will read the pay file sequentially every record it will read one by one but you have to give the logic inside this like what do you want to perform it will read the file automatically but you have to give what logic you have to perform like here we are checking the if statement like employee id is numeric or not so okay that is one logic and second we are printing the sample report sample report like you can give here like sample report and then we have the employee id and pay gross so you can it will write automatically report okay record it will write the record one by one in the sample report automatically okay so like you can see here so that is the input file okay we have the employee id and then we have the pay gross and here in spool you will see the like employee id is numeric or alphabetic this kind of uh, like display you will get and report like you you will be have the report like with the specific date whenever you are generating and the, uh, like title here report for today and then you will get the employee id and pay gross for each record okay second is the control input output control input output means we have the capability to process any sequential or keyed file like we can process any record or we can process the file sequentially one by one okay and these statement have like we must have the knowledge about this like we have the get why we use the get if we want to read the record sequentially okay then we use the get and point when we have to point the or we have to position the record in a key file okay and put when we have to write the record one by one or one record into the output file and read which will read the keyed record okay and write which will rewrite add or delete one keyed record okay here is the program 
for the control input output you can see here we are using the EGT utility and here we are using the sale file which have the record key one from one of, of three byte in numeric format and we have the salary which start from the fifth column okay fifth column and it has the pack decimal format so here you can see like we have the first record key of three byte like here and it has the like 1000.11 okay that is the there so that is this one is the pack decimal data so we one zero 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 one thousand point one one so for the 200 record key you will have the like two two thousand point zero zero okay so same you can see for three thousand three hundred we have given the three thousand six hundred we have given four thousand for seven hundred we have given the five thousand okay so that is the sale file okay input file okay and next like we have give, defined the input file next we have defined the our output file in which we will write the updated record okay like but here in the salary we want to permit it but we want to write it into into the numeric format instead of the pack decimal if we will write in the pack decimal then we will not be able to read the record naturally we have to read the hexadecimal format so that is the hexadecimal format of the pack pack decimal like data okay pack decimal data how can we see we how can we see we can see it in the uh, like uh, hexadecimal format hexadecimal format okay and here for the control input output like we whenever we want to read the file so we will the get statement and with the input file okay so we, we, we here first record is read and then for reading the other record we are using the do while do while loop okay and in this loop we are checking key if it is less than 600 and note and do file sale file it will read until this condition is true okay so 600 so like 100 200 300 so for first three record it is true so it will read these three record and it will uh, it will come out when this this statement become false so here we are updating the salary into 1.1 we are like writing the calculation like we are calculating the salary we are updating the salary and then we are moving the record key from the salary file to the updated salary file okay then we are writing that record cell up in the cell upd file okay and then we are reading the next record of the from this input file so it will be continue read the record until this condition is true okay so this will read i mean to say okay so you can see here updated salary okay for the three record Okay, point it is like 1100.12 okay but we have given it into the numeric format so like we are not taking the decimal okay and uh, we, you might have seen the s013 band in the eg tree so when does this band come when we have the like dd statement like for example in this program we have given the 80 length here okay or block size we have given 800 or something we have given wrongly okay and here we have given something else then of course then we used to get this kind of s0 13 event means it's when dcb parameter is different than the dd okay and what is the database input output like in this of course we will read the data or we will write the data we will read the data from the database and write it, it into the output file or in the report but we have few statement which we use for the database input output in the eg tree first is the file which will identify the database okay and second is the record 
which will identify the segment segment which we have to process and retrieve it will describe the automatic database input like we have here description for the file statement here we are giving the file name dli dbd name and then literal file statement specify like database whenever we have given the dli it means we are we have the database in the file okay and uh, it will also identify the pcb pcb is the block like program communication block in the ims database okay and uh, dbt like database it is database definition okay and when then we have the literal so it will specify the relative occurrence of the dbd like we have the multiple dbd within the psb so which occurrence we have to process okay in in the psb so literal will define that numeric integer next statement we have the record statement like in this we have the segment name so it will be like one to eight character segment name okay and uh, it will be it like we have the segment name specified in the dbd okay database definition okay and we have given the literal one so it will specify the length of the segment which we have to read okay then we have the segment name too so it will be the root uh, root segment root, root segment for this segment one or if we have this segment name one or, or is already root segment then we don't need the segment name two okay we then we have the key and uh, field name literal two and literal three of course you can understand by the key like it will of course key the key the segment or key the field field into the segment which we have to write and this literal two and literal three what are these so literal two i think will locate the field in the dbd or in the segment okay in the segment actually and in and literal three it what is the length of the uh, i think yes length of the key field what is the length of the key field it will tell literal two and literal two uh, literal literal two okay this is literal three sorry that is literal three okay and uh, location of the key within the segment next statement we have the retrieve so we have to code the retrieve statement immediately after the job statement to describe the automatic database input uh, input you can code one retrieve statement per job automatic database input is processed in the same manner as the known database input or as the file process so automatic database input can also be happen in the same way as the file file happen like we have work in the same manner in the, on the database also in the retrieve we have given the file name one then we have the key file then we have the select then we have some like some statement record name id literal one limit literal two while condition so first of all retrieve file name one what is file name in name one it will define the date identify the database or you can say it will be the same as in the job like you can have job input and in the file statement then we have the key file like file name to and key value field name so file name to is the name of a file which is sequentially processed to obtain the key of the root segment to be processed and field name is a data field from this file which contain the key and then that key used to retrieve the root segment okay and we have this select here so why we use this select it will identify the segment it will here it will identify this segment or record name like a record name also it is a segment name only okay 
we can have the like uh, any number of segment or any number of record name for input however the parent of each selected segment must be selected so means it means if we have the one segment then parent segment also we must have to select and id literal one so next like here id literal one so it is a two byte alphabetical field which identify the retrieve path in this hierarchical database like we have here hierarchical database that is hierarchical database so a b c d e so these are the segment okay a b contain two segment only because like a and then it will come to b so a b that is the path but a d a d include three segment a c and d like a c and then d okay and then we have the limit literal to literal to means this one control the number of segment occurrence that are retrieved from the dbd okay and the limit applied to each path for example if it is known if it is known that a particular segment never occur more than two time in a path we can code limit two for that segment when you do not code this parameter so it will retrieve all qualified occurrence of the segment and then we have the while condition which will of course pre-screen the input segment okay and here are some terms which we use in the database processing like dbt dbd like it is a control block that describe the structure of the database okay or you can say like uh, we have the field and record that made up the segment type in the database then we have the pcb program communication block so it will define which or which of the segment in database we have to access okay which of the segment and PCB contain multiple like PSB contain multiple PCB okay and but there must be one PCB for each application program thank you guys that's all from my side please like the video and subscribe the channel